I've been making so many templates uh, for this project that I decided it would be a good time to, um, good opportunity to show how to make some quick templates like this or like this, things like this to go around curved um, when you're templating around curved parts. So this is pretty much the project. This is what we're making the templates for. Cutting the rich light for the bottoms. And as you can see, there are some fairly complex shapes in there that a tape measure and a square are not going to be able to um, accurately lay out. So, we're turning to templates. Now when I, f when I saw this happen first from a um, counter, the guys were uh, templating for counters, you know, stone counters. This is what they were, this is the way that they did it. And as soon as you see it, it's like, oh, of course, it makes perfect sense. So, here we go. Creating the template, I had to uh, raise the, um, the reference point with these uh, quarter inch pieces of steel plate I had on hand for something else. And um, it's just something I had to do that's particular for this job. So the template material is, um, it's ripped out of um, door skin material. It comes in a four by eight sheet, just ripped it two inches wide on a table saw. I have a big pile of that sitting in front of me, which you can't see there in the picture. And I'm just sticking it together with a hot melt glue gun. Um, nothing high tech about this. It's just kind of um, keep an eye on keeping things lined up, keeping things straight, and um, keeping things supported so it doesn't tweak and move around when um, when you're um, moving it out. And I'm lucky here because I'm doing this. I'm I'm cutting the the actual material. Um, 30 feet from this. I'm not carrying this in a truck to you know from the job site to the house. Um, but that back there, working on the curve, that's the, that's the cool part right there. That really saves a lot of scribing time. Um, so this was this was a 15 minute process here, and we're compressing it down to what is it like an inch in, or a, one, in one, minute, one minute or so. So um, it's a pretty fast operation. Okay, so now using the template to um, cut the piece, cut the piece of rich light. It's quarter inch rich light, so I can um, cut it with a saw on the rail, a uh, pretty slick system. Just marking it out now. I use a, a utility knife to score into the, the top of that. They're marking the, marking the corners, marking the outside, and um, using the saw to uh, cut to the line. I don't know if you saw it there, but using a, an older hacksaw blade, it's flexible. You know, when you bend it, it um, it springs back to you know, relatively straight shape. Um, but that you can take it and you can you can bend that around your points. Um, it's nice to bend it around the uh, the template because you can bend it inside or outside. Um, you couldn't really see it in the video, but you just offset your your template the thickness of the blade, which in this case was the 32nd of an inch or so, and it, it comes out pretty darn close to where you need to be. Um, a metal cutting blade works great in this rich light material, and um, cutting that back curve, the, um, I beveled the, the jigsaw in a little bit simply because of the, the flare of the, the back of that cabinet, and um, should should fit pretty well. Um, so, there you go. Oh, that's pretty close. 